A lot of fun watching these, man. We had some good matches. We had, like, how often do you see not one, not two, but all three different memes? Wait, there was a me Gunner? Yeah, Chia. Oh, my God. I saw the me Sorry. known as Chibo. Kirby. Wow. Dang. Yeah. You actually had all three memes this We week. had literally all three <laughs> It's slightly cursed, slightly blast. Yeah. A little bit of both. You yeah, know how so, it is. So if you want to do some research on how those free memes work, you can always go to Gucci YouTube. Yeah. Because, I mean, he's been uploading them from what I've seen as the tournament's been going really on. awesome. That's that good stuff. Yep. And we've got, speaking of good stuff, we're going to have Kirby versus uh, Mega Man. And I okay. don't believe that Geo has actually taken a full set from Smasher, but I mm -hmm. do know he has taken games before. Yeah. So this should be good. It will be hard. Smasher is definitely one of the hardest people I can think of in the state to try to take a best of five from. Yeah. I popped off. He was my first ever PR win. I nice. Think. I think I, he was. And I had, like, the biggest pop of because I beat him in the best five. And then he <laughs> 3 owed me, 3 owed me in, in grands. <laughs> but you know, that's not the important thing. The important thing is you got that PR win. Yeah, I know, but Smasher has been one of the most consistent players from the beginning of the game. It's been PR every season. Yep. And he has a place that allows him to be very consistent with both Mario and more so Mega Man. Yeah. I mean, honestly, his Mario kind of set up for what he would become with that consistency. And yes. Mega Man just kind of put it into overdrive, to be honest. This could be a stock right here. Okay! Oh, okay. Oh. No! You were right, you were right. It was a stock, just not who we were thinking. That's a very unkingly like stock. Yeah. I mean, that's the last Press 1 if you feel bad. Press F for Geo. Well, actually, the point is got him. <laughs> Alright, let's see what Geo can do to try and bring this back, though. He's got to go for some greedy boy plays now, I think, yeah. honestly. Especially against characters like Mega Man, who gets so much easy chip damage, you know? Yeah. And a lot of it's just going to be using that crouch to avoid the pellets and coming in from an aerial angle just to get in because a lot of Mega Man's moves either cover perfectly forward or perfectly up. So being able to come in at an angle against Mega Man, that's really where his weak spot is. Regardless of who I've tried to play against Mega Man, yep. I do oh, feel no. like bull hops are the key. That was very cool. Yep. I thought he was going to go for the down smash there, but I think the S made made more damage. I don't know. Yeah, I, feel, I think the F smash does somewhere around 20 damage. Oh wow, yeah. So it definitely is probably the option you want to go for if you want that guaranteed good damage. Geo unfortunately getting left. I don't think he's playing bad. I just feel like it's so hard against a player like Smasher who's getting so much damage. You gotta get those punishes yeah. when he uh, gives you an opening like that. You gotta take it a mile against him. And Smasher is one of the top two people I think can say a covering jump get up. I, I can't tell you how many times I'm like, oh, I can jump get, I can get away with it all day. Or I can, you know, do some sort of shenanigans with re-grabbing ledge. You know, he punches you every time with a clean bear. Yes. And that Mega Man bear, I don't talk about frames too much. I mean, this right here, we thought that was going to be the stock, but look at that. Saving his jump uh, as unfortunate. usual. But yeah, again, that awareness and experience of knowing to save your jump, not panicking. Yep. A lot of people would have panicked there. I certainly would have used my double jump there and be like, uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the best bet against Smasher, just always assume that he's still got his double jump. Even if you've seen him use it, just it, assume It's already come it. back. Yeah, exactly. Go! Big mood for sure with playing a Smasher. I don't necessarily like FD again against Smasher. I feel like he should try something else. Like Smasher is comfortable on almost all the stages in the game. But I almost feel like he might get something out of like Lilat or Battlefield Loki. Yeah, I mean having those extra platforms may give him more approach options, give him other ways to get in against Smasher, and also more options to actually land. Right. But I mean, with FD, he does get more consistency out of getting his combo confirmation. I feel that. But I like how he's playing early on, you know? He's looking at all a lot more confident. And it's hard to shake off that SD sometimes, especially when you almost yeah. get the stock to losing it. Yep. It's tough, honestly. Yeah, I mean, especially once you start getting into this point in wreck, it's like just the smallest mental misstep can just cost you a game. Right. Ooh, Ooh nice S smash. Kind of calling out that landing, which yep. is hard to do against Smash, honestly. Yeah. And honestly, for Geo, the nice thing is he does play Mega Man as well. So he does have that kind of awareness of what Mega Man can go for. And I've always really liked Geo's neutral. Yep. I, I usually don't mind plays that have good uh, Another unfortunate upbeat. The slight miss again. Yeah, and I mean, you saw Smasher there with the down air pressure. So Geo didn't really want to do it too close to the ledge. Because if he got hit by that, the stock was gone anyways. I can be looking for a bear here, honestly. Yeah. Don't think Optro is going to kill for a little bit, especially without rage. Yeah, I got to have him around 140 if I remember correctly. Ooh. Nice bear. 
And almost killing Cross Dang. Stage, but at least he made him stage control. Yeah, I mean, that was some low DI from Smasher there. Almost going completely horizontal. What I will say, too, is I feel like Mega Man's one of the best characters, low-key, at getting back on stage. Yeah. Those pellets, it forces you to shield to some extent. Yep. Unless you've got a good giant sword you can trade with, you know? Yeah. Because he's either got to throw out something forward or something above him with the up air. So, as long as you just stay above those areas of threat, you can easily keep him on the ledge. Gia looking understandably frustrated. I knew that one wouldn't kill. Yep. Ooh. A good job just doing a standing up, not rolling aggressively because he's mad that he's losing his stock or anything. Yeah. It's sometimes easy to fall into that trap. And this is really where it gets extremely difficult against Mega Man because once you're not in the lead, Mega Man can just do this. He doesn't have to approach, doesn't have to commit. You're the one that has to do all the work to get things moving for yourself. Smasher is like a mentally taxing player to fight already. Yeah. And then come on, I mean, that'll be the stock. Yep. Alright, Kirby's gonna need some magic. Yeah. I mean, hey, he's a god tier character according to all the lore <laughs> these days, I've heard, so. Yeah, I mean, as long as he can get Smasher near the ledge, if he's a little bit more careful, he may be able to take that stock early on here. Smasher using a lot of those ledge jumps. Like I said, it is hard to cover. You have to commit to it harder than other ones. You have to almost do it in advance. Yes. You can't really react to someone's ledge a lot of times because they can already buffer an option. You can weave them to buff the option, but at that point, they've almost started back on stage possibly, so. He is getting so close to equipping Smasher with these down airs as he's coming up to the ledge. I know exactly what he wants, but unfortunately he's at so much percent he can't even get a lot of like Kirby's good combos early on. Yeah. You know, that he normally his bread and butters, you know, sometimes that leads him to a re-grab or more. Yeah. And I mean being at 149 against Mega Man, not fun, because that happens. That was a great yeah. outsmash to call out that dare landing. And Smasher yep. kinda saw it written all over Geo Space. I really wanted to get a dare to get something started there. Yeah. Just understanding that and uh, um, he's an anti-air up smash like that. Because yeah. he doesn't say the outside unless he's very confident he's got the kill. And that's when you're in Smasher's grass, yeah. you know? I mean, with Kirby, he doesn't really have anything to challenge that kind of a move from the air because he's got to use his body in order to get in. Uh-huh. All right, what will Geo do? I think it's time for Geo to get greedy. <laughs> I mean, at this point, he's got to figure something out because... Not FD again. Try something different, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's oh, confident in his pick. Oh. Almost went for Omega FD. That would have technically been different. Yeah, it gets rid of what? Some of the shininess or something from it? I think so. God, I really dislike FD in this stage. Honestly, I don't know what else. I just really think it's... Yeah. New FD looks clean, though. Yes, it does. I love him. Very suave, very handsome. I like him. Yep. But yeah, Geo needs to find new ways to get in, which is a lot easier said than done, especially with Kirby, yep. who's got oh, a limited neutral, you know? There we go. This is what we need from Geo right here. This good combo game, getting that damage real quick. Okay, oh. King! Oh, guess who else has Metal Blade? <laughs> Kirby! <laughs> and guess who also plays Mega Man and probably understands how to use yep. that Metal Blade? <laughs> Geo. So this is like ultimate Geo right here. Both of his mains combined into one. Oh, oh no, no. no, 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 no. He's still living. No, he ain't. He ain't living. I think he's the eye the wrong way. He did Maybe. the same DI that I always do when I get hit by Falcon side yep. I'm like, I'm Diagra, oh no! And yep. then you just go straight up and you're gone. Oh no, not again. Oh, almost got the reset there. Ooh, I like the idea of that, but Smash Page. There we go, catch a Not right for that second Nash Smash. Yeah. <laughs> it don't work! He's like, oh, I Try it again! The, I shielded it the first time, there's no way he's gonna go for it again. Let's get greedy, boys! No, you keep going for the same option all the time. Eventually, your opponent's gonna think there's no way he's gonna go for it the 40th time. Press what if you want this greedy king to make a comeback and take a game. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna have to be greedy if he wants to. Get out of there, though! <laughs> you do not want to be getting hit by that at the last zone up there. In Smash Tornadoes, I would dare say are the best of any Mega Man. Yeah. Whoa. Here we go. This is where the damage can come in. Nice DI. Good dare to catch a jump. Yep. Almost got in there quick enough to get the grab, but Smasher with those pellets. Yeah, and again, Kirby just has such a rough neutral in yep. the sense that he's so linear. What are you gonna do? Fade back, run and dash attack, grab you, Frame. bear you, bear you. That's about all he really has. He can jump around and eventually dare you. Those yep. are his five options. Whereas Mega Man can lemon, he can throw stuff, yep. he can force you to approach, all the halt to your approaches. So it makes it very hard to get in. Yep. Oh no. Good DI wow. by Geo. We living, baby. Yeah, he needed that DI to stay in this. If you jump, you're gonna die. 
Oh, no! He just do a soft F smash. Wow. Jeez. Good stuff by Smash. Smash is looking very solid. Oh, yeah. Joe putting up a nice effort getting the top eight. Yeah, awesome showing today. Yeah. Very proud of my fellow King. Had a good run. He beat